surface water and how it's treated is really done differently here. This whole site, it functions like a meadow. If this were a mountain meadow and it rained in a mountain meadow, the runoff from that meadow would be the same as the runoff we're getting here where we have about 15 units per acre. One of the things we have at High Point is, is the porous pavement sidewalks. While it's a regular sidewalk, it's not quite regular cement. And what you do, you'll see what happens when it rains. The water goes right through it into the soil and eventually into the aquifer. Our model here is a porous pavement sidewalk, a swale, in this case there's a, it's a grass swale, and then the street that actually slants in this direction so that when it rains the water comes into the swale from the street and is cleaned by the soil and there's a pipe with holes in it 15 feet down. That way the water is cleaned by the earth. The water kind of, you know, this is the high point and then it comes down in this direction. All that clean water, eventually it goes into Longfellow Creek. When we started planning High Point six years ago, the city of Seattle came to us and said, 10% of this watershed is High Point. And so we want to do something to clean the water before it gets into this creek. If we had not done the natural drainage system here, the pond would have been, had to have been three times larger. So because the water gets filtered by the soil and a lot of it goes in the aquifer, the pond did not have to be so big. And then when we were going to have a pond, we said, well, let's make it an asset. Let's make it beautiful and let's do a trail around it. As a result, we also got this great amenity. Normally in a lot of places in the country, what you have is a gutter that comes off the house and then it goes right into a pipe. And then that pipe goes into, the, into a pipe that's uh, in the street or under the street. And then it goes right into, in this case, it would go right into Puget Sound. But here you can see the water comes down that chain and into the soil here, and then comes down this kind of uh, rain garden, and, and in this case, it would probably go across the sidewalk, then across the street, into the swale on the other side of the street, after we finish construction. In most of our units, we have downspouts, but then what happens to the water once it comes to the bottom is what's special. When it rains, ra rather than the water going into a pipe, it, it just goes into the ground. In order to do that, you, you have to use splash blocks. I think cities across the country know that they have to do something different with stormwater. This is a, another way to do porous surfaces. These plastic uh, rings are just ways to, to hold this gravel in place and then there's a lot of the rocks underneath it so when, when it rains again the water goes right through here. A lot of people are coming to High Point and see what we're doing with stormwater. This is not rocket science. It's not that big a deal what we're doing. You just have to plan it ahead of time. But you can see it doesn't affect the marketability of a neighborhood because it looks great.